Good morning. Hearing for the deaf, speech for the mute. Today we're going to look at Mark 7, verse 31 to 37. Let's read it. Again, departing from the region of Tyre and Zidon, he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. Immediately his ears were opened, and the impediment of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should tell no one, but the more he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Well, what is it? Can Jesus give hearing to the deaf? Why, yes, he's the creator. He can. There's What is there that he cannot do? Here's a man they found that had uh, couldn't hear and he couldn't speak. And uh, Jesus does a miracle. And since it's, it's interesting, too, that his, his, uh, his problem were physical problems, sensory problems, hearing and speaking, you know, those things. And so what does Jesus do? Jesus comes and he gives him, he, as he gives him the healing, he does it with, from the standpoint of a, per, a sensory perspective. Jesus comes and he puts his fingers in the man's ears and he touches his tongue and, and uh, it's, it's, a touching, it's a touching thing. And Jesus heals him. So uh, then he tells people, you know, don't don't spread this around because, of course, it was very difficult for Jesus to accomplish ministry if people were continually just coming at him from every side. And so he did try to kind of keep a cap on it. But here we have this case of Jesus healing, doing this extraordinary healing thing. And when it was done, they said, well, he does all things well. So the enthusiasm was very great because if Jesus can do this, well, what is it that he cannot do? And of course, the, the thing that Jesus cannot do isn't really, the, none of it's about his power. His power is not limited. The power of God is not limited. The power that's limited is because Jesus is a gentleman, God, God will not go beyond our free will. And so if we don't have a desire to be healed, if we aren't interested in, in looking at things from God's line, uh, yes, there will be things that are not open to us or not available to us. And Jesus won't be able to do the kinds of work, the kinds of blessings and healings and, that he would like to do for us. So what we want to do is be faithful to Jesus. We want to be very open-hearted to him so that the one thing that doesn't inter impede between us and him is our stubborn, stubborn heart. And if we'll be honest with ourselves, virtually all of us have very stubborn hearts. We really need to let God do mighty things in our hearts. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, as we think about this case, uh, this extraordinary case of healing, and there, what is left? What is it that Jesus cannot do? It appears that there's nothing that you cannot do if we are only willing for you to do it for us and in us and to us. So Lord, I know people are listening that have uh, very strong challenges. Some are perhaps facing life-threatening illnesses. Some are having giant financial crises or a family crisis is upon them. Please, Lord, I just we just want to pray to you and ask uh, that you would come down with wisdom and guidance and strength and comfort for all the different needs that are out there among those who might be hearing this devotional thought. Please, Lord, bless us and build us. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you. You have a wonderful day. You know the way that YouTube works, right? If you have opportunity, put in a comment, be one of the subscribers, uh, like the video. Those things cause it to go up in the ranks, and then uh, YouTube shows the video to more people, and more people will get an opportunity to find out it exists and maybe watch it. So anyway, if you're able, go ahead and do that.